right now, just because everybody try to tell you there's a thief, you get mad and close the doors on them. You no longer want to talk to people who tell you the truth. You no longer want to tell people because they recognize the thief. And you say, no, I love the thief. I love, I'm in love with this thief. Because the thief will tell you, baby, I'm the only one here for you. And everybody else is against our love. They try to stop our love. And the first thing the thief would love to do is keep you away from your family, your friends, anybody that can tell you the truth that you with a thief. We have to understand Satan does not come as you think with a long tail. Amen. He comes in with baggy jeans and gold teeth. Deal with it. What you like. You know some of your love thugs? <laughs> your love thug like. Poop like, what's up? 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 He knows what makes y'all weak. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like him tough. <laughs> so the devil come tough very tough. He'll come in any form you want. In any way you want. Because now you have to be be, be wild to the scheme and wild of the enemy. Man. Because the warfare that you fight in from the devil trying to keep you from having the best life. You fight it in the spiritual, but the truth of the matter, Jesus said, I see Satan cast down uh, from heaven like lightning. You busy on your knees trying to cast them down from it. Yes, we do need to pray this. There's that spiritual warfare in the heavenlies, but we gotta watch down to here because he down here. Uh -huh. And he coming in different form of people to try to get you. You like them smooth, they come smooth. Oh, you like them smooth, brother, with a slick top. Wavy hair, back slick down. Slick eyes. Like my son, look at my in your life. Uh -huh. You're going to have to know what it is. Danny said something very powerful today, and she said that not everything that, that seems good is good. Amen. Not everything that glitter. You're going to have to look at why people are here, and you're going to have to look now and look at them, compare them to the life that God has. Lord. You can't no longer try to get people that's broken and try to fix them. Well, Nobody goes to the store and says, give me that broken TV. Okay. Then why do we do that for men or women? Right. Give me that broken bed over there. <laughs> I'll fix it. Yeah. Give me that broken woman over there. I'll fix her. But you forget that it is not your job to fix anybody. Only God can fix people. And, and God no longer want us to bring broken things to him and say, fix them. Amen. And I, I'm not saying that God is not a redeemer. I'm not saying he can mold people. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying in the context of our choices, out of the will of God, that we come in and try to tell God, this is what I want, fix it. And he said, no, that is not part of my will. That's the content of which I'm saying what I'm saying. God is a redeemer. God is a repairer of the breach. Yes, I know that. Before we get letters and people say all kinds of things, I feel like sometimes you don't have to fix stuff. You understand what I'm saying to you? But I'm saying that we keep making mistakes out of the will and want God to fix it. And then it takes years. It takes years out of our life to try to get things right. But he said, the thief come what? But he said, I came that they may what? Have, have what? They may have and enjoy life. Not only have life, but he wants you to enjoy life. Amen. Amen? To enjoy life, right? And, and have it in abundance to the full, to the overflow. 
not just not just enough, but he wants to give you more than just life itself. Amen. One more scripture, a couple more scriptures. I'm going to stop on that part, and next week we'll follow the other part. Isaiah 49 1. I don't have to rush and try to finish everything at one time. Isaiah 49 1. He said, Listen to me, O Isaac, and coastmen, and hearken, you people from afar. The Lord has called me from the womb, from the body of my mother. He has what? Named my name. From the body of my mother, he has what? Named my name. Amen. So you got another name that God called you. You know, that 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 that, that maybe your mother didn't even give you. He has called you to be something even from your mother's womb. Lord. And you have to understand this thing didn't just happen. But he did it even while you were in the mother's womb. And before you were in your mother's womb, he said some things about you. He yes. called you to have the best life. Oh, yes. He called you to live in the abundant life oh, yes. that he got for you. James 1.17. James 1.17.